Hello everyone, welcome back to my Unreal Engine 3rd person shooter series. So today I am going to uh, add AI perception uh, abilities for the NPC characters. So when I go to this NPC characters V range sight radius, he will start aiming at me. And when I go out of his sight radius, he stops aiming. And again, start aiming. And stop aiming. Start and stop. So right, that's what I'm going to cover today. So yeah, this will be the beginning of uh, the AI part for our NPC characters and this episode is sponsored by these generous patrons thank you very much for the support you guys are giving me right so today let's start working on the enemy AIs so Uh, first let's create let's go to the soldier folder and let's create a folder called AI and for the artificial intelligence first uh, let's create a behavior tree let's call it PT mm -mm. soldier Now, to work with this behavior tree, we need to associate a blackboard component as well. So, let's create a blackboard. Let's call it BB Soldier. Right. Now, let's assign that blackboard. Alright, so first, yeah. uh, before using the blackboard, we need to have an AI controller. So let's create an AI controller. It should be here. Yeah. Let's use this D2 crowd control AI controller as the parent class AI Sol Right now I'll assign the AI controller for this soldier class. Wait uh, no let's create A child class based on the soldier. Let's call it as uh, NPC. No, yeah, soldier. And here, let's add the AI controller, AI soldier as the AI controller. Right. Okay, now let's open the AI soldier and here let's add a sense upon sensing component. No, this is the older one. I think we should have to we should add AI perception yeah so here I'll add site config and set the site config as the dominant sense so here 
alienable all three for detection by affiliation because for some reason when I keep only enemies it doesn't work and some of these variables are can't set up properly with blueprints as I know so we have to enable all three I'll set the variable vision angle I'll keep the default values all right now here on pers on target perception updated let's add a event let me break this stimulus and let's print what's happening here So if this character see the player then we should get something like get the character name print the character name and successfully sensed either true or false right now let's see what happens uh, let's get rid of the other soldier okay now let's play and see what happens so if it is working I should see a debug out here called scene or something well I'm not seeing actually I don't get anything all right let's see ah sorry actually this is a CS soldier character I should use NPC soldier because that's the one I added uh, an AI control yeah all right let's see right now as you can see in the top left corner when I go out of his range I get CH player false and then CH player true false true false true so that means he is starting to see me okay so yeah without going for this behavior tree if this is true let me add a branch if I successfully sense the other character let's uh, start let's ask that character to start shooting so for that we need a reference to the controlled pawn so get controlled pawn and do we have any event no let's go here and we have yeah we have this aim down event okay let's do that we have implemented this aim down event through the BPI character interface so we can call it like this aim down if they have successfully sensed me they should aim down otherwise they should uh, stop aiming so let's see if that happens right now 
he saw me so when I go out of his sight nothing happened true false he's not why doesn't he keep why does he keep a me Ah, right so here I am calling this only if the condition is true so no let me bypass that okay he's aiming now and if I go out he should aim stop aiming so if i go here yeah he's aiming and if i go away he should stop aiming right now i can confirm the character starts to see me but actually he doesn't know where am i or he can't track me yet and but uh yeah i will do that in the next episode so for now that's it So if you would like to support my work, you can get the membership of my Patreon club. Link would be in the description below. And yeah, thanks for watching. See you in the next episode. Goodbye.